Hey everyone, Mr. Mo here. Welcome to session three of Solving the Rubik's Cube with Mr. Mo. Now in this session, we're going to actually get into solving the last final layer, the third layer on the Rubik's Cube. Um, and if you remember from last session, we were able to get to the yellow cross. And now the next step to solving the yellow cross is actually um, getting the edge pieces in their proper location and then getting the corner pieces of that last layer in their proper location and then doing what they call a permutation where you're able to move around those corner pieces so that they're upright and in their correct orientation. Okay, so um, so we're going to go through our PowerPoint presentation here and then we're going to cut to a video where I'm solving the final, the last layer uh, using those algorithms that we're going to talk about here shortly. Okay, so let's take a look. So here we are, how to solve a Rubik's Cube. This is session three. Uh, we'll get into, let's see, there we go. So. Here's the final layer that we need to solve, okay? Um, as you can see, um, your cube, if you've gotten to this point, your cube, the first two bottom layers should be solved. If they aren't, go back to the previous session videos and, and once you're able to get there and then have the yellow cross at the top like you see here, then you're ready for this step, okay? So, um, now, our goal is to get um, typically when you have the yellow cross at the top, that doesn't mean that you'll have these edge pieces right here in their proper position. Like this blue and yellow piece may be over here or on this side and vice versa. So we have to do a, a, a series of algorithms, or really just one algorithm, that'll get you to this state. And then once you get to this state, you can move to the next step, which is getting these corner pieces in their proper location. So what does this algorithm look like? Okay, so again, remember we want this edge to be in its solved position, meaning it matches uh, the centerpiece here. Okay, and so the first step you have to do is to find one of these edge pieces and put it in its proper location. Okay, so once you do that, this piece here may not be solved. As long as you put the first edge piece in its properly solved location, and this is the front surface, the front face that'll be facing you, and then you do this algorithm that you see right here, okay? It's, which is R-U-R-I-U-R-U-U-R-I, okay? <laughs> and again, it, as, you, as you begin to learn these algorithms, go through them very slowly, and then eventually you'll start to be able to do these very quickly and do them from muscle memory, okay? So uh, that's what we do. And so once you do that, um, you should have on this side a solved, um, you do that algorithm until you have on this side a solved edge. Okay, so these two will be solved. And then the other two may happen to be solved as well. And if they aren't, then you move that piece, again, you move the edge piece to a solved position from the other side, and then you do this algorithm here, okay? And then once you do that, you should have all four edge pieces in the top layer in their soft location, okay? And again, we'll go through this um, in, a, in, in shortly here. Okay, next we go to step six, which is uh, putting the corner pieces in their proper location. So when we say location, we mean that, that they're gonna go to where they belong uh, in the cube orientation, okay? Now they may be turned differently, like this isn't oriented correctly. Because if it was, then the yellow piece would be up top, the orange piece would be here, and then the blue piece, the blue face would be here, okay? Um, but th this or this algorithm here that we're going to do actually just moves the uh, corner pieces around until they're in their proper place, okay? So before you can do this algorithm, you have to move one corner piece to its proper location. So as you can see here, this yellow, blue, and orange. It, it, this is the proper location for that piece because you have the, the orange, blue, and the yellow. And so where they intersect is where this corner piece belongs. But you may not have that case at the other three corner pieces, okay? And so what you'll do is you'll put, put one corner piece where it belongs. It doesn't matter which one. And then you do this algorithm here until all the corner pieces are positioned in their proper location, okay? Again, not solved, but just in their proper location. And once you do that, then you can move to the last and final step, uh, which is the orientation. Okay, so 
what you'll do is you'll go to, to each corner piece. If it's not oriented correctly, meaning that the yellow is up top, then you'll do this algorithm here either two times or four times, okay? And then once you do that, once it actually reaches uh, to w the point to where it's solved like this, then you simply just turn the top layer over to that same corner and then do this algorithm again, okay? So, and you do that all the way around until it's completely solved, okay? And you'll see that in the video that we're gonna go to here shortly. And, um, and then once you do all of that, then you'll have a solved cube, okay? So let's go on over to my table here and take a look at um, what it looks like from the first person view so that uh, you have a better understanding of how to solve the cube using these algorithms, okay?